Kilauea Volcano, Kilauea, current alert by USGS. Today, Tuesday, June 25th. Activity summary, Kilauea Volcano is not erupting. Monitoring data continue to show, though, steady rates of seismicity. Deformation, low rates of sulfur dioxide emissions, and minor geological changes since the end of the eruptive activity September 2018. Over the past week, monitoring data have shown no significant changes in volcanic activity. Rates of seismicity across the volcano remain low. Real-time sulfur dioxide emission rates are low at the summit and are below detection limits at Puo Crater and the Lower East Rift Zone. As of June 25th, Kilauea Volcano is a normal green for definitions of USGS Volcano Alert levels in aviation colors, you can see the link here. Kilauea remains an active volcano, and it will re erupt again. Although we expect clear signs prior to the next eruption, the time frame of warning may be very short. Island of Hawaii residents should be familiar with the long-term hazard map of Kilauea Volcano and should stay informed about Kilauea activity. Observations, monitoring data show no significant change in volcanic activity over the past week. Rates of seismicity across the volcano remain low. Real-time sulfur dioxide emission rates are low at the summit and are below detection limits at Puo and the Lower East Rift Zone when last measured June 17th and June 13th respectively. Since early March, GPA stations, GPS stations and tilt meters at the Kilauea summit have recorded deformation consistent with slow magma accumulation within the shallow portion of Kilauea summit magma system, one to two kilometers or approximately a mile below ground level. However, gas measurements have yet to indicate significant shallowing of magma. Hawaiian Volcano Observatory, HVO, continues to carefully monitor all data streams at the Kilauea summit for important changes. Further east, the GPS stations and the tilt meters continue to, sh to show motions consistent with slowed refilling of the deep east rift zone magmatic reservoir in the broad region between Puo'o and Highway 130 over recent weeks. While the significance of this pattern is unclear, monitoring data do not suggest any imminent change in volcanic hazard for this area. HVO continues to carefully monitor all data streams along the Kilauea East Rift Zone for important changes. Hazards remain at the Lower East Rift Zone eruption area and at the Kilauea summit. Residents and visitors near the 2018 fissures and lava flows and summit collapse area should heed Hawaii County Civil Defense and National Park warnings. Hawaii Council Civil Defense advises that lava flows and features created by the 2018 eruption are preliminary on private property and persons are asked to be respectful and not enter or park on private property. The Hawaiian Volcano Observatory, HVO, continues to closely monitor geologic changes, seismicity, deformation and gas emissions for any sign of increased activity at Kilauea. HVO maintains visual surveillance of the volcano with web cameras and field visits. HVO will continue to issue a weekly report every Tuesday until further notice and will issue additional messages as warranted by changing activity. Now, according to the USGS Kilauea site, monitoring information, we're going to the right-hand side of the data Last 20 days, week 47, is uh, magnitude under 1 was 8 earthquakes. And from 1 to 2 magnitude were 127 earthquakes. From 2 to 3 magnitude we had 69 earthquakes. And we had the bigger earthquakes from 3 to 4 magnitude were actually 4. Most of them were under five kilometers depth, that is, they were quite shallow. 104 of them were above five kilometers depth. 
from 5 to 10 kilometers depth were 42 earthquakes. From 10 to 15 kilometers depth were, uh, depth were two earthquakes and uh, from 20 kilometers depth down were 60 earthquakes. So about two thirds of them were below 20 kilometers and uh, sorry, one third of them were below uh, 20 kilometers and two thirds of them were very shallow, uh, close to the surface, about five kilometers depth. Now the past week's earthquake, hypocenters map and cross section, most of them are around the Puo crater. And then we have the rest of them along the lower east rift zone. The greater of the earthquakes were at the Puuo crater. Now, when you look at Google Earth, you'll notice that well, we just uh, we had a, a six point six a series of six point six magnitudes at Kamchatka, which is at the tip of the Aleutian Islands, uh, on, in the northern area of the Pacific Ocean. And if you look at Google Earth, there is a ridge that runs uh, from north to south, an underwater ridge, a seamount. And it makes a, a right-hand turn to the east, and it stops at the islands of Hawaii. I wouldn't be surprised if somehow the pressure from this Kamchatka earthquake that we had five or six of them at a 6.6 .6 magnitude somehow it comes to hit again into Hawaii. Now we've had a tremendous earthquake swarm in Hawaii. We've also had a um, recent quake at uh, the Kahului Island of 3.0 magnitude Jan uh, June 20th. We've had a Mauna Loa quake of 3.1 June 22nd, and we've had the various earthquakes, one of them being uh, June 22nd, 2.8, at Kilauea. So we do have the core, the quake swarm there. Some maps show more, some maps show less, that are recorded. The Mauna Loa, 2.65, was at a minus one which was, of course, on the top of the volcano near the crater, and also a 1.98, that was today. And today, again, the 2.65, so we had two of them today on Mauna Loa. And again, we had a 1.79 in Kilauea at the Puo crater, 1.85 today. These are all today's quakes. 2.6, 2.06 today, and the Lower East Rift Zone, 2.3 today, and a 1.73. All these are today's quakes on Hawaii. And we have to be careful because of the big quake in Kamchatka, Kamchatka as we said, it has some kind of a um, line that goes directly from Kachatka. It makes a sort of an L shape and uh, comes down into the Hawaiian Islands, a hot spot sitting in the middle of the Pacific Ocean plate. If you'd like to join me on my Patreon account, you will hear content not covered by mainstream media. These riveting stories will be based on my research and I will state my opinions and give my personal insight on diverse and controversial subjects and world events, events not covered by mainstream media and not certainly on not supported by YouTube guidelines. So whatever I have on my Patreon most of those will not be on my YouTube channel. Please consider becoming a member today. More of the, the most significant and important videos will be on my Patreon channel. Your support helps me to continue my research and keeps this YouTube channel alive. 
and we depend on your support, your generous charity, because we help economically challenged families here in Athens, Greece, in Kapota, and we also help the young generation with university tuition and the community around our church. Thank you. Thank you.